I think people know this now. Louisiana, the governor there, Jeff Landry, signed yesterday a law mandating that the Ten Commandments be posted in every school that is public funding from kindergarten to college. And for fun, I went back and watched the trailer from the movie, The Ten Commandments, from 1956, with Charles Heston. And all I can say is, let my people go. Let us go from this. What we're talking about, what we're faced with is a right-wing religious supremacist movement, and you can call it religious fascism, where they want to turn their religious beliefs and make it into the law of the land. So if their only goal was to put the Ten Commandments up on the schools, that would be unconstitutional, but we could perhaps live with it if we had to. That's, this is just a little bit. I mean, they've been involved since Roe v. Wade was overturned by the GOP Supreme Court in 2022, and it's gone on from there. And, you know, as I wrote about my article, because people might be like, Did, wasn't there a Supreme Court decision on the idea of putting Ten Commandments in public schools? Yes, you're right. In 1980, Stone versus Graham, Supreme Court said it was unconstitutional. The problem is, Tom, that case, Stone versus Graham, relied on another case, Lemon versus Kurtzman, this famous Kurtzman three-prong test on the Establishment Clause. Well, after 50 years, this Supreme Court, 2022, overturned Lemon versus Kurtzman, meaning now it is easier for Republicans to establish their religion as law. And the whole idea is the First Amendment, the first clause is Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of any religion. It simply means government should not show favor to government policy to one religion over another. And that's what this is doing. So. Tom, this is just part and parcel of a movement to usher in and to turn America into a Christian version of Saudi Arabia, to be honest. And I say Christian in their quotes, because it's not about the faith of Christianity. It's about controlling everyone consistent with their right-wing, bastardized view of a beautiful faith.